Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I bring you guys episode number 9 of Hut Roulette. And in the last video, we ended off with a 6 game win streak, and we're trying to bring it up to a 7th and 8th one this episode. So, uh, we want to continue this streak. We just entered into Division 6, so it might be a little bit harder. However, I am looking forward to the challenge of facing some harder opponents because uh, we do have some new players on our team. If you haven't watched the last video, I highly recommend you check it out. I'll leave the link in the description box below, but we got a lot of new pickups on our team so I will showcase all the players before we get into our first game. So on our first line we got Jaden Schwartz, Jordan Stahl and Jason Palmville. On the second we got Alexander Radulov, Alexander Barkov and Carl Haglin. On the third line we got Marcus Johansson, Bukestad and Shen and on the fourth we got Frolik, Adam Henrique and Boone Jenner. So not too many changes with the offense but our defense is really where it changes up. Uh, Tyler Myers and then we have our 87 overall Mark Edward Blasic. He's got 88 skating and 90 defense uh, for his category so that's pretty good. We also picked up the new team of the week Mark Methot. We'll definitely have to try him out see if he's any good. He's playing alongside with Mike Green and uh, Eric Johnson is now playing alongside with Hampus Lindholm. So I think we have about five or six players getting their debuts for today. So let's see how those players play. Let's get right into the first game. Alright, so first game of the episode, we're facing a guy with Zetterberg, Sod, and Oshi on his first line. So not a really good team, but still uh, we, we'll see how our players play in this first game. So let's get it going. Let's see what we can do. Oh, Haglin has a break. Toe drag it. Oh man, Robin Lehner with a big save there. Oh no, I just let him walk in. He takes a shot, beating Hutchinson, and he makes it one to nothing with uh, Matt Zuccarello. So we got to get that goal back. That is not a good start to the Division Six game. All right, we'll get a shot from the point. There it is. One goal. Oh, man. Referee is waving it off. Come on. Let it be a goal. That was a nice little answer back. Literally off the face off. We come in. Oh, but that kind of looks like a high stick from. I think that was Jason Palmville. All right. Come on, ref. Give us a good call. That's a good goal. That's what I'm talking about. That actually looked like it was above the bar, but guess not. Jason Palmville getting us one goal, tying it back up. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Eric Johnson, where are you going? Oh, big save by Hutchinson, though. He just completely skated up. I don't know what was with that play there. Oh, what a save by Hutchinson. Oh, right when we're heading into the second period, and so far we could not solve it in the second. Still pretty much even stats. 12 to 10 shots. 5 minutes time on attack at 3 minutes and 36 seconds. So, pretty even still, but that was a big save by Hutchinson there. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. My defenseman was caught flat-footed and Zetterberg makes me pay 2-1 to one now. That is not a good goal to give up. Everson tries to thread the needle in front. Picked up here by Yager. 37 to go in the man advantage. Yarmir Yager to Henry. Shoots his scores! Adam Henry! And the power play goal to give the Devils a 2-1 to one lead. Yarmir Yager... No, and he gets a goal right back. Come on, Henrik Zetterberg again. Come on, there's a goal for Agilov. What a goal. With only, what, 50 seconds left in the third period. How did that even go in? Jesus Christ. All right, 3-3 three to three now. We tied it back up. See if we can get the lead now. Oh, come on. Set it up. There it is. Jaden Schwartz. He just missed an open net. Oh, my goodness. How do we miss that chance there? Oh, we're going into overtime now. It's a really close game. Let's take a look at the stats. 19 of 14 in shots. 7 minutes time on attack to 5 minutes and 47 seconds. So, we're going to be playing some 3-on-3 three three here. We'll see if we can capitalize. Oh, but thought get a shot net. Oh my goodness. Close chance there. Myers. Backhanded. Off the post. 
Shoot it! Yes! There's the tip goal! And we finally score! Oh man, we had a two minute power play, four on three, and we finally capitalized, and we continue our streak to a seven game win streak. What a game! Let's take a look at the amount of coins we get that game. My, my heart is literally racing because we had so many chances, and I suck at the shootouts as well, so I did not want to bring it to the shootouts. But two points into Division 6, that is one hell of a game to start off Division 6. 25 to 14 in shots, 8 minutes time on attack to 6 minutes. I take a look at the three stars, Barkov, Pomville, and of course, Henrik Zetterberg that got two goals on me that game. But good game to that guy, but we're going to be choosing the 25th player. I'll meet you guys there. Alright, so welcome back to the auction search page. Hopefully we can get something good. Uh, we have 23,860 coins to spend, and that's what we put the buy now maximum at. So let's go ahead and choose the 25th player because we did get 25 shots in that game. So let's go ahead, search the marketplace, see what we get. Come on, let's get something good here. So the first page should have 14 players, so we'll go ahead into the next page and uh, we'll start at player number 15. So number 15 is Carl Alsner, 16, 17, 18, 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Wow. How, oh my goodness. Phil Kessel, out of all players. I mean, with this page, there's a lot of good players, but we pick up Phil Kessel. Not a bad pickup as well. 89 skating, 90 shot, and 90 hands. That is an awesome pickup for our team. So let's go ahead and buy him out, see where he fits in. All right, guys. So welcome back to the team. And as you guys can see, we did buy out Phil Kessel. Costed about 18,400 coins in the marketplace. So he was a very expensive player. Took out a huge chunk of our coin total. But I'm hoping once we get a couple more wins, maybe get that 9-game win streak, we can open up three 15k packs and build up our coin total from there. So uh, with the addition of Phil Kessel, it, it took us 9 episodes of Hut Roulette to finally get a first line player, which I'm really happy about. I'm really excited to try out his card. I've never tried out... Uh, Phil Kessel in uh, NHL 17. So we'll see if we can score him some goals. Uh, on the first line, he's also playing with Nick Bugstad and Carl Hagelin. And you can see we did quite a bit of rearranging because Phil Kessel moved pretty much every single player on this roster. Uh, Jane Schwartz, Barkov, and Palmville on the second line. Radulov, Jordan Stahl, and Marcus Johansson on the third. I decided to give Jordan Stahl more of a penalty kill role because he does have some pretty good face-offs. And on the fourth, I have Boone Jenner, Adam Henrik, and Braden Shen. So uh, that is how my offense is looking like. Going on to the defense, I have Tyler Myers, Edward Vlasic. Pretty much nothing has changed too much other than the addition of Andre Markov. And the only reason why I added him in is because he has a passing playmaker synergy on. And I really didn't think Eric Johnson played that solid of a game. And the plus one in skating wasn't a huge deal. I'd rather have a whole bunch of players with a passing playmaker synergy on than just one player that can skate a little bit faster. So that's why I added in Andre Markov. And we'll see if our team plays a little bit better heading into our second game of Hot Roulette. So anyways, let's give Phil Kessel his debut. I'll meet you guys in the second game. All right, so heading into our second game, we got a brand new team. We're facing a guy with Getzlaff, Sod, and Stone on his lineup. So uh, let's get this game going. Let's give our uh, new player his debut. Oh, what a pass to Palmville. Come on, we can beat Chara. Deke him out. There it is. Oh, just missing far side there. Close chance by Palmville. Oh no, he gets the first goal, taking way too many stupid penalties, and he scores on a 5-on-3. So, uh, oh, actually, uh, that penalty just expired, so we are back 5-on-5, five five, which is pretty nice, but we gotta get that goal back. Yes, there it is, a screenshot, and Mike Green finds the back of the net there, making it 1-1, one one, and uh, we tie it right back up in the second period. So, big goal for us, let's keep it up. Oh, Radulov's got speed. Go, go, go. Backhand. Yes, the double backhand works. And we get the first lead of this game, making it 2-1. to one. That is a big goal to get. To try to continue this streak. Don't want to lose it now, but uh, that is a big goal. No. 
Oh man, I was chasing after the puck and that was a bad rebound by Hutchinson there and Everly makes no mistake there, tucking in the empty net. He ties it back up two to two. Bozak up trying to block. Weiss broken up. Leafs get free of it and Kessel has got speed. Kessel going in on goal. Oh, there we go. I don't know how Pongville got that shot off, but that was an absolute bullet beating Tuka Rask. He just played it right out to me. I'm going to capitalize on that chance every single time. So we have a two-goal lead now. Let's try to maintain this lead. Oh, there we go. A cross-crease goal. I think that was Jordan Stahl who scored that one. So we make it 5-2 to two in the third period. That should be the dagger. For this game so uh, we'll pretty much just go ahead and fast forward to the end of the game and there is our eight game win streak big win for us uh, definitely a little bit easier than our last opponent but still it was a pretty close game for two periods but then we kind of just broke it open in the third period so uh, in this game we got 1257 coins and that also means because we did get a win we can do another pickup Unfortunately, no shutout, so we can't buy a 7,500 pack, but let's take a look at the stats here. 13 to 15 shots, 7 minutes, time on attack, just 6 minutes, so pretty close game overall. Taking a look at the 3 stars, Mark Mathot actually getting the 1st star, Phil Kessel with his debut getting the 2nd star, and Mike Green getting the 3rd star as well. So, pretty good game by all of our players, so let's go ahead to the marketplace, and we'll go ahead and buy a player. Alright, so we continue our streak, and after that game, we're now sitting at 6,717 coins, which is still a pretty decent amount of coins to pick up a good player or a goalie. Still looking for a good goalie for our team. So, uh, anyways, we're going to be choosing the 13th player here, because we did get 13 shots that game. So, let's go ahead, search the marketplace, let's see what we get. Alright, so the 13th player is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, and 13. Not a bad pick up. Mika Zabinajad, an 86 overall player. He's going to be relatively cheap, and he does have 88 skating as well. He's got the Dirty Dangler synergy as well. So let's go ahead and buy him out and put him into the team. All right, so we did find a spot for Mika Zabinajad on the team. You can see that we put him on the third line left wing spot. Even though he is a centerman, I think he will bring in a little bit of speed, even though he is on his off position. But uh, he was relatively cheap in the marketplace. Only cost about 600 coins. So we're still sitting at 6.1k for the next episode of Hot Roulette, which is pretty nice. And we're going to hope in the next episode we can continue our streak open up some 15k packs and hopefully get some good November cards or some special cards or some really good players. I'm definitely looking forward to it. So that's just about it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. Let me know that you guys are enjoying it. But that's about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Mark Edward Blasting. Alright, that's our first good pack. 87 overall. I love the package. That is nice. Oh man, unfortunately, that's how it's going to happen.